Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. I want to jump on a thread today started by James Griffiths. He wants us to show 10 of our favorite psychedelic songs. So I picked 10. Um, now these are in no sort of order. So let me just start here. My first song I picked is uh, Pink Floyd's Interstellar Overdrive. And uh, this happens to be on, uh, well, it's on a few different albums, but I have it on Relics, which is one of my favorite Pink Floyd compilations. Uh, that song is so trippy. I've always loved it. I love the guitar lick. I love how it just breaks down into almost nothing. And then that guitar lick comes back in. I'm sure people did a lot of drugs to that song, Interstellar Overdrive. The next one, I gotta put this in there. Iron Butterflies, Inagata De Vida. Iron Butterfly is one of my favorite bands, so underrated. This album is underrated. Um, let's see, it takes up all of side two. It's over 17 minutes long. I mean, look at that cover too. They're just tripping out. Um, the live version, is awesome as well, but yeah, definitely that's a psychedelic song. Now, gonna go with the Monkees, and uh, I'm picking the song Daily Nightly off of Pisces. Really, really, really trippy song. And this album is awesome. I mean, Daily Nightly though, really good tune. Next, um, oh, here's a, sort of an oddball one. Off of Sgt. Pepper's, I'm picking Within You, Without You, which is actually one of my favorite Beatles songs. And you don't really hear that song mentioned that often. I love the sitar, George Harrison's vocals, just the whole meaning, very, very psychedelic. Within You, Without You, Off of Sgt. Pepper's. Uh, you got, you know, you can't talk psych without mentioning Donovan. And I'm going Hurdy Gurdy Man. His vocals on that are just amazing. <laughs> yeah, he was on something. I actually saw Donovan live uh, a few years ago. Amazing. Can still sing, can still perform, can still command an audience. Um, Do you ever think Peter, Paul, and Mary could be psychedelic? Well, off of album 1700, there's a song called I Dig Rock and Roll Music. And in the middle, there's this part where they're emulating Donovan. It's it's pretty psychedelic, even with like backwards uh, tapes and things like that. Real cool. Peter, Paul, and Mary trying to keep up with the times. I dig rock and roll music. Now, I got to bring some metal in. Can't get much more psychedelic than Planet Caravan off of Paranoid. That is a trippy, trippy song. Even Ozzy's vocals, he sounds like he's singing underwater. Yeah. Dead Milkman. Off of Beelzebub, there's a song called Smokin' Banana Peels. I mean, you know, you've got to see colors. Actually, when, if you're smoking banana peels, you're probably smelling colors. Crazy. I don't know how psychedelic this song is, but it just brings up psychedelic uh, thoughts in my head. The song Love Street by The Doors. She lives on Love Street, lingers long on Love Street. She has a house and garden. I would like to see what happens. So yeah, it's sort of a little psychedelic, trippy melody there. I mean, the theme, I think, is... Uh, what I'm going for there. And lastly, I could have picked quite a few songs from the Grateful Dead, but I'm going uh, China Cat Sunflower off of their uh, Europe 72 album. It's got such a trippy, trippy groove to it. And, you know, everybody was high when they went to go see the Grateful Dead, right? I actually saw the Grateful Dead. Uh, I was lucky enough. It must have been, I think it was at Giant Stadium. It must have been like 95. Yeah, it must have been around 1995. Yeah, but luckily I saw them before uh, Jerry passed. So thank you to James Griffiths. This was a cool uh, thread. And uh, maybe we'll see some other 
favorite psychedelic songs from you guys. All right, enjoy the rest of your Sunday.